From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Lipakshi and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of a country's diversity. The Koch Rajbanshi are tribes usually found in the northeastern region of India and parts of Nepal. Literally translating to royal ascendants, the tribe has a rich history of agriculture, dance, culture, language and medical practices. In order to promote the culture of the Rajbanshi tribe, the first Kamathapur festival was organized in the Bongoi Gao region of Assam. Take a look. Tribes are the ancestral residents of the forest. India is home to a number of tribal communities who are also referred as Adivasis and follow their own set of rituals and lifestyle. The Koch Rajbanshi or Rajbanshi tribe are a tribal group found in parts of Lower Assam, Bengal, Eastern Bihar and the Tarai region of Nepal. They are related to the Koch community found in Meghalaya. Recently, the first Kamatapur festival was organized by the Kamatapur Autonomous Council and the Assam government to showcase the rich cultural heritage of the Rajbanshi community. Kamatapur festival बोल के हम लोग festival किया है तो ये festival हम लोग Kamatapur बसी राइस के लिए तो इसमें हम लोग का सभी जनगुस्ती का ही जितना हम लोग का traditional चीज है dance है traditional का जो खाने मतलब खाने का चीज है ऐसे बहुत कल्चरल जितना है सब कुछ हम लोग को यहां पे दिखाई देगा ये फेस्टिवल हम लोग जो कुसाजबंसी का बी था जो अभी भी मतलब हम लोग अमर बोल के ही बोलती हूं जो वीर विश्व महावीर शिलाराय है तो विश्व महावीर शिलाराय के 5 13 जो जन्म दिवस था उसी जन्म दिवस से ही हम लोग 5 तारीख से शुरू किया है तो जन्म दिवस की मतलब ये ले जन्म दिवस के दिन लेके हम लोग मतलब 7 दिन के लिए हम लोग ये कमाटापुर फेस्टिवल की शुरू किया द कमाटापुर ऑटोनोमस काउंसिल वाज क्रिएटेड इन द ईयर 2020 फॉर द सोशियो इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट एंड राइट्स ऑफ कोच राजबंशी कम्युनिटी द फर्स्ट एवर फेस्टिवल वाज ऑर्गेनाइज्ड एट देवनगांव एट द फुट हिल्स ऑफ नकाटी in the Bongaigao district of Assam. The occasion also coincided with the 513th birth anniversary of Veer Cheralai, which is celebrated as a public holiday in Assam. The festival was not only attended by people of Rajbanshi community, but from delegates from neighboring countries as well. Rajbanshi ka cultural ka bisheme. जैसा सॉन्ग का लैंग्वेज का उत्थान करना डेवलप करना और कल्चर का विकास करना इसी में अभी इसी अभियान में हम अभी तक लग रहा हूँ इसी वजह से जब हम फेसबुक में व्हाट्सएप में देखे ये फेस्टिवल का पोस्ट जब ये बन रहा था उसी वक्त हम देखे उसको देख के वो एक्टिविटीज को देख के हमको मन में कुछ लगा कि हम जाकर वहां पर कुछ सीखे कुछ जाने और आ, अपना नेपाल में आकर भी भविष्य में कुछ कर सके हम लोग भी द हाइलाइट ऑफ द फेस्टिवल वाज द मेसमराइजिंग ट्राइबल डांस परफॉर्मेंसेस व्हिच वर अ ट्रीट टू द आई डेक्ड अप इन ट्रेडिशनल अटायर्स दीस डांसर्स परफॉर्मड वेरियस काइंड्स ऑफ ट्राइबल डांसेस ऑन रीजनल ट्यून्स Pritam Koch, cultural secretary of the Kamatapur Autonomous Council, gave a singing performance which was thoroughly enjoyed by the audience. Prokarto Bode, Kualine Kusan, Hudum, Kartika, Basipuran, Basnito, Sonaranito, Sondinito. मतलब सब कुछ मिलके हो जाएगा तीस साल जाते में हो जाएगा अभी जो मैंने परफॉर्मेंस किया इधर वो है हमरा कुशन नित्तो कुशन नित्तो एक रामान कथा है रामान के ऊपर होता है कुशन नित्तो लोप कुश के बारे में ये गाना होता है कुश कुश कुशो के नाम से ये 
नित्यों का नाम रख दिया कुशा नित्य Apart from showcasing the culture and lifestyle of the Rajbanshi community, the seven-day festival had a number of recreational activities for its visitors. A number of stalls were set up in the premises where handicraft and handloom items were available. Authorities also displayed huts, clothes, musical instruments, and other items in order to recreate the scene of Rajbanshi village. A food court was also set up where traditional Rajbanshi food items were relished by visitors at different stalls. Youngsters also enjoyed different kinds of activities and adventure sports. Autonomous council का जो इलाका है यहाँ ज़्यादा लोग हैं, विभिन्न जनगोष्ठि, विभिन्न भाषा-भाषी, बहुत से सारा लोग हैं। ये लोग को सब को यहाँ जो इंडिजिनियस जो ट्राइबल है जो इंडिजिनियस जो पीपल है उसके बारे उसके बारे में यह जो संस्कृति यहाँ जो परंपरा वो यह प्रदर्शन हो रहा है और असम सरकार असम सरकार और कमतापुर ऑटोनामस काउंसिल मिलकर के शिलाराय दिवस उद्यापन करते हैं it is through festival like these that culture and lifestyle of different ethnic groups in India is now being celebrated by masses and is getting recognition. Sufism has entrenched itself at the center of cultural and spiritual life in India. Dargahs of Sufi saints in almost every part of the country are the rich reservoirs of this tradition. The Dargah of Hazrat Sheikh Makhdoom Ahmed Abdul in the city of Ayodhya is one such place where devotees from all religions come and offer prayers to the Sufi saint who lit the path of virtue, wisdom and peace for his fellow beings and followers. An epicenter of faiths, a place where brotherhood and bond harmony between as many religions could be seen flourished and prospered at its best. The Dargah of Hazrat Sheikh Makhdoom Ahmed Abdul, a 600-year-old shrine which is situated in Ayodhya, is one such melange of diversities. Here, people come from all over the country and from other countries to give the Dargah of Baba Ki Dargah. And for 606 years, you have also been able to do it. बड़े ही तुझको हितराम के साथ हर साल आपका उर्स मनाया जाता है। यहाँ हर धर्म के लोग आते हैं, हर जात मजहब के लोग यहाँ हाजिर होते हैं, और हिंदुस्तान के हर खित्ते से आते हैं, उधर बंगाल, बिहार, झारखंड, उड़ीसा, छत्तीसगढ़, मध्य प्रदेश और मुंबई, महाराष्ट्र वगैरह से भी लोग आते हैं, उत्तर प्र गंगा जमी जमनी तहजीब की बहुत आला मिसाल है ये यहाँ पर हर रोज तकरीबन हजारों की तादाद में लोग हाजिर होते हैं हर मजहब के लोग आते हैं। It is believed that the Sufi saint fulfills the wishes of all those who come over here from different corners of the country. People of all faiths have deep faith in the saint who throughout his entire life worked for the welfare of humanity. Coming from far and wide, people of all religious communities attended this special prayer to seek the blessings of the saint. कोई भी खानका हो, उसका यही मिशन है कि सारे धर्म के लोग यहाँ आएं, सभी धर्म, सभी समुदाय के लोगों के लिए खानका के दरवाजे हमेशा खुले हैं और ताकयामत खुले रहें। अयोध्या से तकरीबन 40 से 45 किलोमीटर की तरफ लोकेटेड है और ये लखनऊ से एक घंटे की ड्राइव है और ये बहुत ही सिलसिले साबरिया की बहुत ही कदीम बल्कि मैं अगर कहूँ कि हिंदुस्तान की सबसे बड़ी सिलसिले साबरिया के खानकाह है तो वो हुजूर शेख अलालम के खानकाह है। For ages, Sufi saints like Hazrat Sheikh Makhdoom Ahmed Abdul have propagated the message of spiritualism and harmony in our country. And their teachings are still playing a significant role in strengthening the threat of secularism. Visited by people from diverse faiths and communities, the Dargah has been playing an important role in strengthening the secular threat of our country. It is due to examples like these that India stands as an undefeatable example of brotherhood and religious harmony all around the world. 
And now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. Bollywood celebrities unveiled the trophy of a celebrity cricket tournament in India's western Mumbai city. Indian actors Sunil Shetty, Sohail Khan, producer Boni Kapoor, politician, actor and singer Manoj Tiwari were among others apart from the participants at the event of the Celebrity Cricket League. ICL ki khubi ye hai ki entertainment ke liye hum khelte hi hai lekin saath saath charity bhi karte hai. उन बच्चों तक हम वो सभी चीज़ें पहुंचाने की कोशिश करते हैं जहाँ उन पे उनके एजुकेशन में उनके हेल्थ पे फ़र्क पड़ सकता है सो सी सी एल इज़ नॉट जस्ट अबाउट यू नो द यूनिटी ऑफ ऑफ हमारी इंडस्ट्री लेकिन आल्सो टू गिव बैक प्लेइंग फॉर चैरिटी सी सी एल इज़ एन एम एच ओर मैंस क्रिकेट टूर्नामेंट दैट विल बी प्लेड बिटवीन एट टीम्स कंजिस्टिंग ऑफ सेलिब्रिटीज फ्राम बॉलीवुड एंड अदर रीजनल फिल्म इंडस्ट्रीज विद टोटल ऑफ सिक्सटीन मैच इज बींग प्लेड सैड मीडिया रिपोर्ट्स Hundreds of enthusiastic daredevil strongmen joined athletes and players from villages and town to perform a quirky mix of traditional and bizarre sporting events at Northern India's Rural Olympics. The sports festival founded in 1933 and held in Kila Raipur, a hamlet in Northern Punjab, includes 40 to 50 events and is a blend of accepted sporting disciplines and other more unusual pursuits. शौक इदा सर भी जिदा मर जाना जी जाना भी एक मैं सोचा मन च भी यार एक कम नहीं है अगर दुनिया के कोई नाम कमा कि मरण तो बाद भी लोग याद कर कोई इंसान है सी। Event could not be held over the past four years because of issues stemming from COVID-19 and also because India's Apex Court has not given permission for its showpiece event, the Bullock Cart Races. The event where stuntmen lifts weights with their ears and beard also brought enthusiasts from across the country and abroad to the northern Indian state. Examples of religious harmony and peaceful coexistence could be easily spotted in different nook and corners of the country. A recent example is that from the Balodh town of Chhattisgarh, where a temple has been playing a major role in uniting people of different religions in the region. India has a long history of brotherhood and peaceful coexistence. Some of these examples often date back to hundreds of years, or are associated with ancient tales. One such example is from the small town of Baloth in Chhattisgarh, where a Hindu temple has been serving as a symbol of religious harmony for around 400 years. The Chandi temple in the district is visited by both Hindus and Muslims because of the history of the temple that gives out loud the message of religious harmony. लोग बताते हैं कि यहाँ के जो राजा थे ठाकुर निहाल सिंह जी उन्होंने ही चंडी मंदिर के निर्माण के समय में अजमेर शरीफ है या कहीं गए हुए थे जिनसे वो मिला था तो उनको यहाँ स्थापित किए हैं और तब से चले आ रहा है और हिंदू मुसलमान सभी लोग आस्था से उनको मानते हैं यहाँ आते सर झुकाते हैं और जो भी मन्नतें मानते हैं वो पूरी होती है whose shrine is located nearby. There is a box which is covered by a green cloth with the number 786 written on it and seen as Sayyid Baba's symbol. The temple committee also sends a chadir to Sayyid Baba's shrine during the Urs commemoration of the Sufi saint. The story of the temple goes back to 400 years when Nihal Singh, the then zamindar of the region, who was an ardent devotee of Chandi Mata, built this temple to promote brotherhood. It was believed that he used to cure people regardless of their caste or community. We are in the Park, we have a chadar of Baba Ji, and 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 we have a chadar of Baba Ji, ले जाते हैं और जहाँ 
जैसा उनका नियम रहते हैं मस्जिद में जाने के बाद उस नियम के अनुसार से दुआ लेते हैं और उस चादर को हाफिज जो देते हैं चढ़ाते हैं और हाफिज जी हम लोग को आशीर्वाद देते हैं और उसके बाद हमने प्रसादी को वितरण करते हुए अपने चंदी मंदिर में आते हैं It is due to example like these that mutual respect and brotherhood are deeply rooted in the culture and traditions of India and are still practiced by citizens. And now we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Illuminated bridges, buildings and light art scattered around the city will light up the Danish capital for the next 3 weeks. February is one of the darkest months of the year, but during the 23-day light festival which started at the weekend, people in Copenhagen will be able to enjoy some much needed light. We have been here every February for 3 weeks and we are kind of celebrating the darkness. Also Copenhagen has a policy for lighting and for darkness so the city itself is our backdrop we don't need to change the city in order to do a light festival we develop uh, we curate light installations and art in the city and it creates a new shape new spaces in the city This is the 6th year the festival is taking place and more than 35 light installations will be seen around Copenhagen mostly concentrated in the city center walking cycling and running routes of various lengths have been developed to take visitors straight to the installations and in app shows where all the installations are located Developing realistic sounds inside the car can be relaxing as well as fun. Japanese company Yamaha Motors is developing noise regulation system called as Alive AD, Alive Acoustic Design. This Alive AD works to gather information of the number of engine revolutions, degree of accelerator, speed and so on. Based on this information, comforting sounds are developed for cars and is provided to the driver. 近年、車外騒音規制が厳しくなってきまして、えー、室内のサウンドというところが失われつつあります、まあ、そんな中でヤマハに求められるサウンドはというところでこういうデバイスを用いて車室内だけでもサウンドを演出するというところで開発をスタートさせていますヤマハ発動機としましてはエンジンハードで培った技術というところがありますのでそれを生かして音源作りの方を実施していますただヤマハ株式会社の方では音響技術というところがありますのでその音響技術と弊社のエンジンハードの技術というところを融合しましてこのデバイスを開発しています。This EV car runs quietly. The sound device allows the driver to feel a sense of exaltation. Companies around the world are coming up with systems that are regulating noises outside cars. Under these conditions, Yamaha's invention is expected to spread globally. Madame Tussauds New York has revealed a new Rihanna wax figure ahead of her Super Bowl performance. The figure is dressed in her 2018 Met Ball look and features LED lights. The ensemble is topped off with diamond encrusted nails, large rings, diamond anklets and her tattoos visitors will find rihana's likeness in the attraction's glow gala room later this year another figure will be unveiled at medem to swords orlando that will feature rihana's half time performance outfit from the super bowl it took approximately 6 months for a team of artists in london to complete the statue A traditional festival named Deputa which is organized in the Aomori prefecture of Tohoku region in Japan beautiful traditional crafts are the highlight of this festival Deputa festival takes place at Tokyo Dome in Tokyo this place is usually used for baseball games The Furusato Festival Tokyo 2023 aims to revitalize the tourism industry 
which has been sluggish due to COVID-19, by introducing local traditional festivals and local delicacies. Visitors can see many attractions at a single venue. Potato butter is a popular food in Hokkaido. People enjoy eating it with salted squid. Hokkaido no kita akari toyu ofte amakte hoko hoko no imo ni junsui na butter wo noketa jaga butter ga osume desu. Shio kara mentaiko, cheese, sake, uni to yutta yo na topping ga arimas. Corona mo dan dan Japanese eel fish is another popular delicacy among foreign tourists. Ishiki town in Aichi prefecture is known as an eel farm of Japan. Japan has rich traditions and culture that attracts tourists from around the world. Well, Jammu and Kashmir is unarguably heaven on earth and there isn't any season when heaven twitches its admirers away. It can be visited throughout the year, but winters are the best time to visit Kashmir for snowfall as compared to other seasons. To attract tourists, India's first class igloo, which was set up at ski resort in the middle of the snow-covered mountains in the Gulmarg region of Jammu and Kashmir, has become the center of attraction. Let's take a look. Kashmir is a sight to behold in winters. Its snow-clad mountains, lush green valleys and picturesque views leave tourists awestruck with its natural beauty. Jammu and Kashmir's Gulmarg town is one of the most popular winter tourism destinations in India. India's first ever glass igloo restaurant, which was opened two years ago in Gulmarg, is now becoming a popular destination and is being visited by tourists in large numbers. This year, we have a new concept called Glass Igloo. We have launched this concept here for the restaurant. We have launched this glass igloo. Last year, we have made snow igloos, but due to the late snowfall, we have made it in the last year. नहीं बना पाए टाइम पे इसलिए हमने फिर ये ये इंस्पायरेशन ये कॉन्सेप्ट हमने फिनलैंड से ले लिया तो फिनलैंड से ये कॉन्सेप्ट हमने बारो किया तो फिर हमने ये यहाँ पर गुलमर्ग में ये एग्लोज लगाए टूरिस्ट का तो बहुत ज़्यादा ये रश होता है और टूरिस्ट भी बहुत सारा लाइक कर रहे हैं क्योंकि इसमें जो भी हम रेस्टोरेंट में सर्व करते हैं अंदर वाले रेस्टोरेंट में कोलाई ग्रीन होटल के वही हम बाहर भी सर्व कर लेते हैं ये कॉन्सेप्ट हमने ऑस्ट्रिया से लाया है ऑस्ट्रिया का ये इग्लो है जो कि वहाँ से ही डिजाइन हुआ और फैब्रिकेट हुआ यहाँ पर फिर हमने एसेंबल किया हुआ ये तो उस वजह से एक नया कॉन्सेप्ट आया है पूरे गुलमर्ग में बहुत सारे होटल के जो भी गेस्ट है वो यहाँ आके दिन में या डिनर में यहाँ पर फूड ले रहे हैं इसमें इस इग्लोज में this glass wall restaurant is built in the middle of snow by Kolahoi Green Heights Hotel of Gulmarg in North Kashmir's Baramula district. It is the same hotel that built a snow igloo in Gulmarg, which was the biggest snow igloo in Asia and was a hit among tourists. Tourists enjoy delicious lunch and dinner along with beautiful scenic views sitting inside the glass igloo. These igloos also have proper heating arrangements and have become a favorite hangout spot for cafe lovers as well. बहुत सुना था और बहुत देखा था आज एक्सपीरियंस किया है लंच और डिनर का अरेंजमेंट्स भी किया था एंड इट्स ए वेरी वेल सेटअप एंड बहुत अमेजिंग एक्सपीरियंस था यहाँ पे लंच करना बिकॉज़ एक ग्लास के क्यूब में बैठ के विद सीनिक व्यू एंड एंजॉयिंग द लंच वाज अमेजिंग आल्सो यहाँ पे बहुत अच्छे एडवेंचरस एक्टिविटीज़ हैं ए टी राइड स्कीइंग एंड गंडोला राइड बहुत अमेजिंगली हमने एक्सपीरियंस किया है दी कॉन्सेप्ट वॉज टेकन फ्रॉम फिनलैंड एंड इज प्लेइंग अ मेजर रोल इन बूस्टिंग द टूरिज्म इंडस्ट्री ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर Well, that's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at anin.com. I'm your host, Lipakshi, and it's goodbye from the entire production team. <laughs>